This is fantastic. This is a really straightforward problem because we know that the, uh, well, the hinge theorem is really what's at play here. And what the hinge theorem says is that if you have two sides that you know are congruent on two triangles, then, and we're, we're referring to the included angle, the one that's in between those two sides that you know are congruent on both of them, then whatever triangle has the smaller included angle is going to have the smaller opposite side. So this, by the way, my mistake on this, I was trying to make everything fit, and that should say A right there. Okay, you might have already figured that out. Um, this is side A. So if that's true, then what we're dealing with is that this side A, since it's across from the smaller angle here, must be smaller than this side. That side's bigger because it's across from a bigger angle. And so then we can just simply say, that AC has got to be less than FH. There you go. Same things at play here. They're telling us that this angle is 73 degrees. And so because those two form a linear pair, we know that ABD has to be 107, so that they add up to 180, 107 degrees. And then we're dealing with the same thing. We have two angles here, this angle, and this angle, okay, and they have reflexively share this side, and that bottom base is the same, so we're dealing with the hinge theorem. And whatever is across from the bigger side, or bigger angle, will be the bigger side. So since this is across from 73, and that's less than 107, we know that that side DC is going to be smaller than AD. Or another way of saying it is that AD is greater than CD. Done.